right guys welcome back to another video we are on vlogmas day number 22 we are coming down the home scratch and today guys i have a nice brown sugar glazed ham so we're gonna jump into this video and i'm gonna show you exactly how i got this done all right guys i'm gonna put a disclaimer out my sister from virginia is home and you know that means uh Noise level goes up, 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 up. <laughs> but I have right here, guys, this is a half of a bone in ham. I caught this on sale for only nine bucks. And I have some uh, brown sugar, light brown sugar, black pepper, onion powder, sliced pineapple, and my maraschino uh, cherries. All right, guys, so you can see I have my ham here. I got it all washed and patted dry. And now I'm just going to come and start seasoning this. Just going to put some of my onion powder on it. Now you don't have to add any salt to this, guys, because this ham is salted already. So I just like coming in and adding a little black pepper and onion powder to the front side of it. And then I'll flip it over and put my salt and I mean my black pepper and onion powder over this back part. Now you don't have to add this if you don't want to. This is just something that I saw my mom do, so I just keep it going. All right, and after that, then I'm gonna come and add my pineapples to it. All right, so let's add my pineapple slices to this. And I'm not going to worry about getting them to stay on because I'm actually going to come in with my toothpicks and that's going to help keep these on top of my uh, on top of my hand. All right, so I found these different color toothpicks and I thought they looked like giving a little festive look so. That's why I'm adding these. They had our uh, red and green and blue and yellow, and I thought it reminded me of like, Christmas lights. So <laughs> that's why I got this uh, particular kind. All right, then I'm gonna come and just add a cherry to the middle of this, and put another toothpick to hold that in place, and then I'll finish that process until I get the rest of my slices on. And then this will be ready to go in the oven. All right, so I got my pineapples and cherries all on here. And now this is going to be ready to go in the oven. I'm going to cover it. Not worried about if those toothpicks uh, poke holes in my foil. I'm just going to cover this and put it in the oven on 300 for about an hour and 20 minutes or so just to let it slowly heat up. Okay, so I have my ham out of the oven. I had this in the oven for about an hour and 20 minutes or so. And now I'm just coming and adding some of the juice off of my pineapple slices. I'm just going to pull some of that around the edges and a little bit over the top. Alright, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the remainder of that juice uh, to make uh, my glaze for this. So I'm just going to turn this over and put this face down so that I could uh, glaze the top of this. Oh, really, this is the back of it, really. 
So I have my bowl here and I'm just going to come in and add some brown sugar to it. And this is probably about a half a cup of brown sugar. Alright, then I'm going to come in and add the rest of my pineapple juice from this can. Now I also have pineapple juice. Uh, I have a brain cramp. I also have separate pineapple juice is what I'm trying to say in case this wasn't enough. But this ended up having, I mean, ended up being enough. So I just want to mix that, get that mixed in well, get my sugar dissolved. Then I'm going to come in and just brush this over the top like this. And I have enough glaze in this bowl for me to brush it three times. So I'm just going to cover it with glaze once and then I'm going to get it back in the oven. I'm going to turn my oven up to 375. And that's another thing guys, I, I baked this on uh, the first time on 300 for one for an hour and 20 minutes. Then I'm going to turn my temperature up to 375 as I put this glaze on. Alright, so I'll get this in the oven 375 for about 15 minutes and then I'll be back to glaze it again. Alrighty guys, I am back and I just want to clarify what I was saying in the previous section. Um, like I said, I, I baked this ham at first on 300 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. And after I put on my first glaze, I put it back in the oven and turned the oven up to 375. And I let it stay on 375 until I'm done doing my glaze. So that's just to give you guys a little clarification on what I was saying. I was having kind of a brain cramp trying to figure out uh, what my sister was doing in the background. <laughs> but anyways, this is the second glaze and I'll get it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. All right, guys. So after another 15 minutes, I'm coming in and putting my last glaze on this. This is starting to look really, really good. I just want to make sure I get this glaze all over my pineapples and all over my ham. And this one will just settle down in the bottom of this pan and soak in to the front side of that meat. That's the part that my niece Jasmine likes. So I'm going to eventually just pour all of the rest of this glaze over the top of this. And then this is going back in the oven. This is the third time I glaze it, third and final time. This is going to go back in the oven on 375 for another 15 minutes. And after that, this will be done. And I'm going to give it a taste test for you guys. All right, so my ham is out of the oven. This is a total cooking time of, uh, I would say, about two hours. An hour and 20 just to really bring it up to temp. And then uh, three different glaze, 15 minutes each. So that's about 45 minutes, about two hours and five minutes total cooking time. And this looks absolutely great. You can see that it still has some of that glaze at the bottom. So I am going to come and I am going to start pulling out these toothpicks. You don't want to eat one of those. <laughs> That'll upset your Christmas. <laughs> but I'll be back, guys. All right, all right, guys. I'm going to give this a quick taste test. I am came out beautiful. I'm just going to come over here. Nice and tender. See that? 
nice tender piece of ham. Cooking it with that pineapple on the top first. Really made that outside nice and sweet. It's nice and tender. <clears throat> that looks so good. But I need to come right here. Mm hmm. I need this piece right here. I know you're watching this, Chef. You know this is the best part. Look at that. Put that nice piece of fat on it. You come and you put it down in this pineapple and brown sugar juice. That's what my niece likes to do. This is hot, but I know it's so good. <clears throat> okay, guys, good night. <laughs> All right, all right, guys. Excuse me for smacking in your ear like that. But that ham was so good. That nice brown sugar glaze is just really, really good. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you are new here to the channel. And also turn on post notifications so you'll know when I upload a new video. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And my next video, guys, is going to be an impromptu video, not really Christmas related. So stay tuned for that. Until then, peace.